The longest win streak of Jason Garrett's tenure is over after a perplexing loss to the Washington Redskins, who came into AT&T Stadium to try and disrupt the nation's top rushing offense. But what they really did was engineer a win behind a third string and Texas native quarterback Colt McCoy. Well, it's terribly disappointing uh, uh, that uh, Jay, Gruden, Jay Gruden, his staff, uh, their organization, they came in here, they uh, uh, took it to us, and uh, they won the game. We couldn't get it done. The mentality of owning the problem is a common one in the Cowboys locker room. Each player placed the blame on himself. We made mistakes, us as a team, we made mistakes, you know, and, and you know, we're going to fix it. We're going to man up, accept this loss. We're going to fix it. Nothing that we didn't expect. We just didn't get it done today. We just didn't make the plays that we were supposed to make. We know we got to clean some things up. Like you said, it's a long season, eight games left. And we have eight games of film um, where teams can break us down and, and scout us. Um, and we got to just correct ourselves and um, get better as we move forward. We have to go earn it. And we just made too many mistakes, and they capitalized on the plays. Although the unexpected loss to the Redskins is magnified right now, the Cowboys are still in a good spot atop the NFC East, hoping that Tony Romo will be full go to continue their run by Sunday. It felt like some sort of knee or elbow or something just kind of hit me perfectly. I don't know even if I hadn't had back surgery, I'd still probably have felt that one really good.